it felt kind of like I was on LSD pretty much. Wow. Uh, everything was very bright, very colorful. Before this, I've had somewhat of energy orgasm, like orgasms without ejaculating. The longer we had sex that time, we just started throbbing more and more, and I felt like my whole body was shaking. Eventually, I, was, I, I felt that I was standing on a, like a mountaintop. I was keeping eye contact all the time, and she was throbbing as well. And I told her that she's Shakti, the cosmic creative energy, and kept going. And I don't know, it was really, I started to crying. It was a lot of, I think, blockages that was releasing. Yeah, it was a really powerful experience. Thanks for coming, Alexander. My pleasure, Stefan. It's your show. Yeah. So, um, Alexander, you're from Sweden, right? And um, you finished the program, the Tantric Man Experience, about, is it a month ago now? Yeah, about a month. I think, uh, yeah, it should be exactly a month. Pretty right. much on the date, I think. Yeah. So, I remember when you started the program, just right in the beginning, you were a bit nervous, but at the same time, pretty damn determined to step up your game in life. So could you talk a bit about some of the struggles that you experienced in your life that made you decide to join? Uh, yeah, for sure. I've been um, uh, kind of a victim of, of the circumstances uh, or... or I allowed myself to be a victim of circumstances for, for a very long time, ever since I was, I don't know, 10. Uh, it escalated when I got up in my late teenage years, uh, started to drink heavily and do a lot of drugs, uh, and kept doing that for a lot of years, and been on and off living pretty, pretty destructive. Uh, at the same time, I've also been very interested in, in uh, shamanism and spiritual teachings i've been reading a lot last years and uh, progressively kind of raised my vibration uh, and uh, so so what made me determined to do the changes is that i'm i want to be an adult i want to take responsibility for my my own life mm. uh, and uh, in my last relationship i came across uh, Tantra, for real. Uh, read some books about it, and uh, by coincidence, I, I, I stumbled on uh, your your uh, uh, Facebook page uh, in yeah this fall, uh, three four months ago, and uh, I watched some video the way you were talking, and I, I felt that it really resonated with me, and uh, so yeah, I I've been longing to step up my game for a long time and I felt that this could be a game changer. Mm, cool. And you set some really good goals right in the beginning of the program, some goals that you wanted to achieve before the nine weeks were over. Could you share some of these goals? Yeah, I don't exactly remember them all, but I know that I wanted to have sex for long periods of time uh, I also um, yeah wanted to I think it was raise my vibration uh, my energy levels which has been very low uh, for a long time it started with when, when I was a young teen and played a lot of computer games I think and, and I had a lot of troubles with sleep and a lot of troubles with relaxing and therefore also been very tired a lot. Uh, I wanted to change that and also I can't remember the last one uh, but yeah harnessing definitely energy I think yeah harnessing energy as well and I think that it goes with the I mean not be so, so tired and, and I feel that I've really changed those things yeah do you feel like you, you reached those goals yeah for sure uh, since I've been doing uh, uh, my practices that you provide in the program, I've been uh, able to have sex for 
many hours in a row. Uh, I I feel more determined, more focused, uh, and I feel that I have a steady course forward instead of like just be like a leaf in the wind. Okay, that's awesome. Glad to hear that. Right. And how does it feel to accomplish? Like you set your goals and then you achieve them. It's it's great success, right? How does that feel to you? Obviously, it feels great. Uh, I'm usually that kind of guy that when I when I decide to do something, I follow it through, and I would be very disappointed on myself if I if I didn't reach my goals. I didn't expect them to be reached that fast, but uh, I, that was obviously a, a positive surprise. Mm. So yeah, it feels great. Yeah. And I will quote the following that you said about the program. If you follow the program, you will not only become a tantric man, but grow in so many areas of your life. Could you speak about this thing that you said and which way did you feel you, you grew more than just becoming a tantric man? Um, a big part, I think, is to the sharing part in this program that you, uh, you push us pretty good to, uh, to share, what do you say? Vulnerabilities? Uh, yeah, exactly, thank you. You share your vulnerabilities uh, and when you start sharing those, they they see seem more less less big than they were before. Before, when you kept them in like a clam inside yourself, mm. and that that I think is a is a big part for me. Uh, one big thing for me was to share my kind of economical addiction to my family, uh, and that I wanted to cut that loose. I wanted that for a long time and to be able to share it in a, in a safe space and a, a safe community. I, it was easily to, to yeah, cut that addiction basically or kick that addiction out. Were you able to, to do that? Yeah, definitely. I've been, uh, I've told my, my grandparents to stop giving me money. Uh, and I, because of that, to pay my rent and pay my my uh, pay for my food and so on, I've been uh, I work full time now, uh, which feels good. Provide for myself, uh, and that also means that I have less money over for drugs and other things. <laughs> Yay! Success again. So great. Fuck yeah, That's man. Really good to hear, brother. So I'm really excited to talk to you today because you had strong experiences of the energy cultivation. You could really feel this energy in your body strongly and yep. it came easily to you. But I think one of the most profound effects that you had was the lovemaking experience with your lover. Uh, yep. Would you feel open to share a bit what happened there? Yeah, totally. Um... First off, I want to say that I was very lucky to find uh, a woman that was or is very secure in herself, uh, very open-minded. Uh, when I we met like just a couple of days before I enrolled the course and uh, I told her about it and she said that she was would be glad to, to share my experience in it. Um, and along the way, we've been discussing a lot and with a lot, lot of long talks uh, where we've been very open and vulnerable to each other. And we started to uh, open, us, open up to, our, to ourselves and talk about dreams and goals and where we wanted to be and so on and so forth. Uh, so I think that is a big part of it. Uh, but what actually happened was i think it was like two three weeks left uh, left for me in the program we were laying in her bed one uh, saturday morning uh, we've been out partying to pretty late uh, and we had great sex the night before and then we was talking about it like how we could reach even higher peaks in this 
so we started to like, yeah, let's try to breathe slowly, uh, look into each other's eyes. And we was more, more like bouncing back and forth, not to do it at that point. And uh, we started having four play, which was really good. Eye contact all the time, uh, deep breaths. And then when the actually love, actual love making was taking place, I was doing this where you penetrate the woman just with the tip of your penis uh, nine times, and then you go deep in her uh, the tenth time. And was doing that for a long time. Uh, and before this, I've had somewhat of energy orgasm, like orgasms without ejaculating. And the longer we had sex that time, we just started throbbing more and more. And I felt like my whole body was shaking. And eventually I was, I, I felt that I was standing on a, like a mountaintop kind of, uh, I was keeping eye contact all the time and she was throbbing as well. And I told her that she's Shakti, the cosmic creative energy and kept going. And I don't know, it was really, I started to crying. It was a lot of, I think, blockages that was releasing. And yeah, it was a really powerful experience. Mm. Uh, I kind of knew what, not, not knew to what, what to expect, but I, Somewhat had some ideas about it, uh, while she had no clue what was to expect expect out of these tantric experiences. Mm. So it took her pretty hard. She was crying. I was crying, uh, but in a positive way, of course. Uh, yeah. And afterwards, we was just like sitting for a long time, uh, just shaking, throbbing, holding on each other's heart chakras. Uh, and yeah, it felt kind of like I was on LSD pretty much. Wow. Uh, everything was very bright, very colorful, and I was very in shock in many ways, but also wow. very happy. Yeah. And this is the, the natural high, right, that we can achieve without this, the substances, but actually by turning within and using what we have in our bodies yeah totally and how how long did it take to kind of land and settle in this experience afterwards the first very like the intense experience took a couple of hours to come down from uh, but then i think it was like a week maybe to to really come down and and feel grounded again and i think it was even longer for her she was a lot in shock uh, but also in a positive way. I think it was a game changer, big game changer for her and definitely a ga game changer for me as well. Wow. Has this profound experience brought you closer? Yeah, definitely. I think at first, it, since she was kind of in shock, she was like withdrawing a little bit and didn't really recognize herself for a while. Uh, she was away for in Berlin, which was planned even before, though. Uh, and she took some time to, like, I don't know, settle in all this. And when she got back home, we have been talking a lot about it. Uh, and, I mean, where we want, it, want to do with it and where to go with it and so on. I, I, I kind of lost the question. What was it? Sorry. No, if it brought you closer, if it yeah. increased intimacy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah. And I just also want to say thank you for, for sharing this story publicly because I know it's a vulnerable topic, so it requires courage to do that. So, so thanks for doing that because I, can, I think it can really help and benefit a lot of people about hearing these stories that it's actually amazing, um, possible, and it's a fantastic story. So thanks for doing that. It's all good, man. Um, so before we wrap up, any last words of wisdom to anyone out there that you would like to share? If you want to do these kind of things, like be determined and don't be too hard on yourself, but set the realistic goals for yourself and 
yeah, fucking do them, accomplish mm. them. That's maybe right. it takes some time. Maybe it, it doesn't take some time, but eventually you will you will get there. Thank you so much, Alexander. This has been great. Amazing, amazing sharing. Thanks for coming on and have a good one. You too, Stefo. Thank you.